Kepri. Kepri is a very important component of what we would call the Kemetic and ancient Nubian pantheon. And this character really is known as being an aspect of Ra, who of, of course is at the center, being the representation of the sun. So we associate this deity with having a celestial origin of being Canis Major, where these beings reportedly come from, per the mythology of both the Kemites and later the Dogon tribe, as this being identified as this, their celestial origin. We associate them with the Netaru, who were, of course, spiritually based beings who came to Earth, who helped humans, passed on knowledge, uh, gave us uh, secrets to, to magic or um, control of the universe, agriculture, mathematics, things of this nature. So Kepri himself actually had no cult centers, being simply an aspect of of the sun deity Ra, but he was important that in that he represented the emerging light. So there were multiple aspects of what we would call the sun god, the first being Kepri, who was the sun during the morning light, then who was the sun god during the uh, midday, and then there was Atum, who was the representation of the sun as it descended onto um, the horizon. So the end of the of the day, or the in this in this pantheon, his descent into the underworld. And this is important that there were three aspects. Again, we look at other mythologies and we see, you know, representations of a trinity. And to me, this definitely represents a trinity. And in comedic beliefs, we would also see another trinity with uh, Asar, Aset, and Heru, who represent this family trinity and was ideally more rulership and earthbound rulership. But we would see other representations, even in Christianity and Catholicism, we see a re representation of of a real strong strong trinity and when we see representations like this we also remember that in brahmanic beliefs which we've talked about in other videos there is also a representation of a trinity with uh brahma shiva vishnu who were all aspects of of the sun god or excuse me of their primary deity who was brahman so this concept is obviously ingrained in a lot of religions, having this, this triple representation of one deity. And as mythology goes, as Atum took his form and rose out of the chaotic waters of the noon in their creation myth, it was thought that Kepri was this representation. And in actual physical uh, world, we saw this representation with the dung beetles, which is why Kepri is actually represented by the scarab or the beetle. Seen as Kepri rolling the sun across the sky in the same way that the dung beetles rolls balls of dung across the ground. And of course, when the dung beetles were done, they had laid their eggs inside of this dung and their new offspring would emerge from this ball of dung. And it looked like they were self-generated. And that's what we also associate with Kepri is self-generation. And this is the representation that we see with the dung beetles and why it was significant. So while there was no cult following individually for Kepri, he is really a manifestation of Ra or Atum Ra, who is the larger aspect who would gain not only uh, a deification among the Kemetic and Nubian philosophies, but I think would influence other cultures all around the world for many, many thousands of years to come. So picked it principally as a scarab beetle, but you will see some tomb paintings and funerary texts where he is represented as a human male with a scarab as a head or as a scarab with a male human body emerging from the beetle shell. He is also depicted as a scarab in a solar bark often held aloft by the nun. The, the scarab amulets that the Kemetics use as jewelry and as seals represent Kepri and his influence on their pantheon and their belief system and he was central to the idea of the creation the travel through the, the world the descent into the underworld and then of course rebirth which is what he represented which was a central concept to their belief system so we will look at other trinities which is what he's unique for this is what i draw out of uh, learning about kepri is the idea that uh, the trinity stays very very strong and these triple representations of major deities and then his earthbound representations through the the scarab really tie him into what culture was and men making sense of the world that they lived in thank you again for joining us here at Nile chronicles and we'll be back with more comedic philosophy and mythology as we dig deeper into the myth of these incredible people